second. Hi guys, welcome back to 32nd part of the audio tutorials. Starting from this up to certain videos, we will be working on the Arduino joystick module. And as it's a first part, I'll be covering the basic working principle of this module. And at the end, we'll try to read the values from this. You might have seen this joystick modules in game controllers where they'll be using for forward, backward and left, right movements. So basically it has two axes X and Y. If you consider the structure, it's nothing but two potentiometers mounted separately for each axis. So this is one and this is the second potentiometer. So if you understand the basic working of the normal potentiometer, then working on this joystick module will be easier for you. We have also made a complete step-by-step -step tutorial for the potentiometer. Before moving further, click on the I button and just have a look on it. You will be able to see five pins on this module, one for VCC, one for ground, and there will be two analog output pins from the potentiometers, one for X axis and other for Y. And there will be one additional digital output pin. This is for the switch. So for any of your application, if you want the push button, you can directly use the switch given on the module itself. The components required for this tutorial are Arduino board, joystick module, and some jumper wires. Coming to the connections, I'm connecting the VCC and ground to Arduino 5 volt and ground, VRX and VRY to Arduino analog pins A0 and A1, and at last the switch output pin to Arduino digital pin 2. For circuit diagram, you can visit the link in the description box. Coming to the coding part, in the declaration section, we have to declare three pins, two analog pins and one digital pin. So we can use int data type. First will be for X axis pin. We have connected to analog pin A0, Y axis pin connected to A1 and the switch pin connected to digital pin 2. Next in the setup function, we have to make all these three pins as inputs using pin mode. Next in the loop function, First, we'll read the data coming from A0. So I'll declare one more variable here, int x data. So it's an analog pin. So we have to use analog read function. And we are reading the pin A0. Similarly, we'll read the value coming from A1, which will be stored in Y data, A1. And one more is the switch pin, which is digital pin 2. So it's a digital device. So we have to use digital read function for switch data. And we'll be reading the pin 2. So we have all the values of these three pins stored in these three variables. Using these three values, you can do any calculations or use it for any control logic. First, we'll try to print these values and see what are the values we are getting on the serial monitor. So for that, we have to initialize the serial communication using serial.begin. So this will be in setup. 
with a baud rate of 9600. Now to print any value on the serial monitor, we have to use serial.print and inside this you can give text or any variable. So if you want to print text, just use it inside the double quotes. We'll give the name X data. And in the same row, we'll print the X value. So I'll keep it as X data. So first we'll see what are the values we are getting from this A naught or the X axis from the joystick. We'll keep some delay at the end, maybe 100 milliseconds. Now upload this code and here in the serial monitor now oh, it's printing in the horizontal way so we have to move to the next line so I'll just add print ln yeah I'll upload this again so in the X axis the keeping the joystick in the default position I'm getting around 540 so if I take it to the right the values are increasing it's going up to 1023 and if I leave it back so it's around 500 again and going towards left it's going till zero since Arduino will be having 10 bit ADC, we'll be getting the values from starting from 0 to 1023. And at the center, we are getting 500. So, similarly, we'll try to print the values coming from the y axis and see. So, I'll close this. And I'll add two more lines for y axis. slash t move to the second or the next column and in the next column we need the y axis data I'll keep the text as y data and here it should be y data variable after this we need everything to start in a new line so I'm adding print line here we'll upload this and see yeah as you can see here we are getting y data also in the next column so by default it's showing around 500 so i'll start moving to the forward so it's going till zero and back to center position it's around 500 and for the other side, the values are increasing up to 1020. We can able to change both X and Y axis. Now we are left out with the digital switch. So I'll add some lines for that also. I have to take this same lines. It will be switch data will move to the third column there will print the switch data text with the value so we are getting the switch data on the third column by default it's showing zero and if I press the switch it should go to one so here we could not see any state change that means this switch is active low switch inside the module itself they have connected the other pin to the ground the default state of the digital pin 2 is 0 and we are again making it 0 by pressing the switch that's the reason we are not able to see the state change so there are two solutions one is make the default state of the digital pin 2 to high 
by using external pull up resistor or we can directly set this pin to high inside void setup so i'll go with the second solution so here we'll make the pin too high using digital write function to comma high yeah we are done with the change so i'll upload this code again yeah as we can see the default state is showing as 1 and if i press the switch it should change to 0 yeah now it's working perfect that's all for this video guys in my coming videos we will be using the same data values and controlling the leds servo motor dc motors stay tuned for that tutorials and if you have any doubts in this just leave a comment below you can get the code and circuit link in the description box thank you for watching and i'll be back in another interesting one